Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 64 of Photo Critiques. And in Photo Critiques, people send me in some of their best work and I critique each shot with suggestions on how they can improve it. And today I'm pleased to critique the work of Mike Van Lierop. Mike is from the Netherlands and he sent me in some really interesting shots. This first one, I believe this is a white stork on um, a telephone pole, it looks like, or a power pole. And what I like about this shot is Mike used a partial, partial vignette. Notice it's at the bottom, but it's not at the top. And I always talk about adding vignettes to your shot to help draw the viewer's eyes towards the middle of the shot. And in this case, the subject really isn't in the middle. It's more towards the upper part of the shot. So it, it's very intelligent use of a vignette. So I encourage everyone to do stuff like this. Um, you don't have to always have the vignette equal all the way around the frame. You could have it favoring one side or another side or the top or the bottom. And it really adds to the shot. This is a very nice shot. I like the processing. Um, very well done. This shot here, it's, it's interesting, you know, nice color. Um, the one thing I would suggest you do in this shot is you do have a leading line here, this kind of a path, and I would accentuate that path a bit. So I would get a brush and I would uh, turn up exposure a little bit and I would just brush in some exposure in this path. Um, just like that. Just not a lot, as you could see. Um, just a little bit. I think it helps uh, the shot a little bit. There's the before and there's the after. Of course, I did it real quick. You'd be much more careful and try to get it nice and straight and you know not bleed over. Um, never was a very good colorer, so I always crossed the line. So you, you get my idea. You have um, a, a natural leading line right here. Uh, try to exploit that a little better. This shot here, um, it's interesting because uh, this, like, I don't know if it's like morning f uh, mist, um, it's it's obscuring whatever is right here. It looks like a ruins of a building. I really can't tell. Um, the lighting, too, there's a lot of shade here. I think this is one where you really have to work the scene. I think maybe you could have um, got a better shot in this uh, area than what is this shot. Uh, just because we really have to work to figure out what it is and really as I mentioned many times when you want when someone is looking at your photography you don't want them to think you want them to feel and in this case I'm doing too much thinking it's a you know perfect shot I, as simple as that focus is is perfect and uh, very interesting um, very nicely done this is where um, Mike's shots are really get, getting interesting. Uh, this is almost like a panorama of a, a mushroom. And what I want to mention, you guys always talk, hear me talk about these rules of photography. The, I should say the so-called rules of photography. You know, don't bullseye your subject. Um, try to, you know, shoot the rule of thirds, use leading lines, all this other stuff I always say, almost every critique. But the idea is those rules can be broken. You really do have to learn them, though. But once you learn them, you could figure out ways where you could break the rules and you could really make a photograph something special. And I think Mike did here. He has this very uh, panoramic shot. He has the subject bullseye, but it's so tiny and just it's just a really different shot and I think it works great the focus is great it's a really really nice nice uh, photograph very nicely done similarly he has this still this panoramic shot um, the uh, uh, subject isn't completely in the middle but it's flowing through the middle a little bit and we do have kind of a diagonal line of the hillside and the moss it, it's a really really nice shot the lighting is is really nice we have some uh, stuff in the front that's slightly out of focus does some um, very subtle framing of the subject which is more brightly lit very well done look for stuff like that when you're out uh, you know try to um, you know I don't know how to explain it but you gotta try to see like your camera would see and look for these things that aren't readily apparent and this is an excellent job Mike again the same thing here we have this really bright part in the back which typically you don't always want 
but it's it's just so well done. We have it's offset. Remember, I said if you have really bright parts in one part of the image, to balance it, you'd want something dark in the opposite part of the image. And Mike did an excellent job here. Again, the subject is pretty much bullseyed, but it works, and it works. I think probably because it's in this panoramic view. Um, but it's really, really a different shot, and um, you know. Very, very nice. I think this is an excellent style that Mike is, is, has here. I've really not seen a lot of people do stuff like this, so it's very unique, and um, I think it's great, Mike. Re really nice job. This shot is just so cool. Um, just the lighting is just perfect, just to light the most important, important part of the animal. And um, you can see the focus is just perfect. And it's just a just a great shot. Now again, as I mentioned, when you have these really dark images, a lot of times when you print them, you'll be disappointed because um, the printers generally, unless you get like you know a super super expensive printer, uh, this part like in here where I could see detail in the JPEG we're looking at, we could see some detail in here. A lot of that you lose; it just becomes black. And we already have a lot of black in the image. So you might be disappointed unless you go to a really high-end printer and um, you know they could um, really reproduce this. And then it's it'd be stunning. But it's a really, really nice shot. So I'd like to thank Mike for sending me in his images. And as you guys see, I always talk about these rules, you know, the rule of thirds and you know, don't bullseye the shot, have it in one of the corners, have the something next to leading line leading to something so your eyes could resolve on something. Once you learn all that though, don't be afraid to break those rules if you think the image will work. You know, maybe nine times out of ten it won't. You'll take the shot and you go, oh, no, it's, it's, it didn't work. It didn't work out like I, in my mind's eye it would be. But often you'll get really fantastic shots like this. And um, you'll see that as you grow as a photographer, um, the only way you really can grow is by trying different things and going in different directions, going where you might not be comfortable going and try different things. And I'd like to thank Mike for uh, helping us open our eyes to this type of thing. So that's it for episode 64. Uh, again, I'd like to thank Mike for sending me in his images. And I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Do me a favor, go over to my website, see all the stuff I have over there on photography, and go to my YouTube channel, and please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. That's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.